we know that alcohol and drugs affect judgment, reaction time, and perception. And if you're driving, obviously this is going to be deadly. Every day on average, four Canadians are killed and 175 injured in impaired collisions. As the holiday season begins, we want to remind motorists to celebrate safely and responsibly, not to mix alcohol and drugs with driving. So we're going to do a demonstration uh, with the impaired suit here. And what Constable Nelson is going to be doing is part of what's called a standardized field sobriety test. Just trying to make sure I was comprehending the instructions as I'm going through this was, you know, that was a challenge. Like I'm trying to focus on what I'm supposed to do and then as soon as I took the first step and realizing I'm about to lose my balance, I was like, okay, how many steps was I supposed to take? How am I supposed to turn around? And I certainly can't imagine anyone never being behind a wheel in this situation, which I'm sure you do see, but uh, to be able to focus in on the specifics is almost impossible. I run the check stop bus and I'm the breath technician in that unit for all check stops. And what I find most frustrating are people coming in complaining that they don't have friends, they don't have family, they did not have an alternate way home, no money. When I'm ready to release them and I tell them, you can go home right now with your charges, however you have to get a safe way home, and immediately they are able to come up with the funds, come up with a family member or a friend to come pick them up. So we just need that forethought beforehand and to start empowering the people around us to make those good decisions.